My name's Dawn Clark and I'm the Lettings and Property Management Director at Knockdighton. I've worked for Knockdighton for over 30 years, first starting off at the Bridge North office um, on a youth training scheme. And I quickly found at that point that I really enjoyed dealing with customers um, and helping people find uh, the right property uh, and showing people around properties. So starting from the late 80s when the Housing Act changed, we found that more and more people were asking about rented properties and we didn't deal with rented properties at the time. So I took a, a keen interest at that point to try and help people find the right rental properties and we started to offer rental properties available. And the, at that point, the tenancy agreements were done by solicitors uh, and we've sort of developed the, um, the lettings department from there and we now manage over 700 properties throughout Shropshire and Kidderminster. It's been a challenging year this year because while the property market went quiet over the sort of lockdown period and we weren't able to show people around properties, with 700 properties currently under management, um, rent still needed to be paid and maintenance still needed to, to, to be done. Um, and we had a lot of um, sort of challenging times really with um, some tenants who were struggling obviously um, from um, job losses um, and being put on furlough and also landlords. So we've had to sort of deal with those um, difficult conversations and try and sort of help people get through the that period with maybe looking at um, payment plans and also to help landlords understand the situations of tenants. And so uh, our property management team have um, had to sort of adjust their way of dealing with things and also dealing with maintenance with because um, some people weren't able to, uh, or if they were shielding or self-isolating, then it's trying to sort of arrange maintenance or necessary maintenance to be done and, and, and look at the differences between what is essential and non-essential maintenance. 2021 um, will be a new year with, with new challenges, of course. So we've got the light at the end of the tunnel with regards to the pandemic, which is really good news. Um, but then we'll also be facing um, new legislation, as always. There's, there's lots of new legislation coming into effect um, and being able to sort of explain that to um, landlords, to existing landlords and people who are thinking about investing in properties. Um, we're also finding that um, there is a shortage of properties at the moment and so uh, the, the demand is still high for rental properties in all the areas that we deal with. So um, we're trying to encourage um, investors to buy properties in this area to be able to meet the demand. Um, and I don't see that changing really, having dealt with rental properties um, and the and in the private rented sector for um, over 30 years, the, the demand has just gone higher and higher over those years um, and I don't see it changing in any way. We have six branches in total uh, and each of those branches deals with both sales and lettings. So those branches deal with the, the front end lettings, the marketing of the properties. Uh, and once an application has been received, then it gets sent into the um, tenancy progression uh, department. Um, and that's headed up by Laura Carlon, who's been with the company for over 25 years now. Um, and um, they basically deal with the referencing um, and making sure that the properties are ready to move into. Um, so the pre-tenancy checks, electrical and gas checks that need to be done, and also uh, ensuring that an inventory is prepared beforehand. And then once the um, tenants have moved into the property, the file then goes through to the property management department. Our property management department is centralised, um, whereby we have a team of six who are office based, um, and that's headed up by Anne Skelly, who um, is, is um, a senior property manager, and she sort of looks after the team and makes sure all the systems and processes are, um, are being covered um, and that we're sort of compliant in everything that we do and making sure that we're offering a, a good service to our landlords and making sure that um, all of the maintenance is done in time um, and that the property visits are done, um, tenancy renewals, and so Anne looks after that team. But it's, um, we also have um, inventory clerks that are based in each of the areas um, and they, are, they do the inventories, the property visits and the checkouts. Um, and so we're all sort of one big team that keep in touch. But it, the benefit of having the centralised team really is that we've got the cover there. Um, so each of our property managers um, looks after one particular area 
Um, so they get to know their landlord and their tenant and they form a relationship throughout, which we find is a great benefit to our clients. Um, and, and each of those property managers uh, has their own um, property management assistant um, to sort of help with the admin side of things. Um, but being in a team, it does help whereby um, if there's any sort of any difficult situations, because we come across new challenges every day in lettings and property management. And so we've got that sort of backup there ready to talk things through uh, and to assist and help with holidays, of course, and sickness and things like that. So it works really well. So I also deal with um, property investments um, and any landlords who are thinking about um, investing in property, then I can help them to try and find the right property. Um, and any landlords who are having difficulties with uh, their managed properties, they can all contact me um, on my mobile number, which is 07967 209011.